everybody, what's going on? I am Lori and I would like to welcome you all to the beginning of our Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town playthrough. It has been a little over four years since I've created any content for YouTube. Uh, just last week, I did start streaming again on Twitch, which is super exciting. So if you guys are not already following me on twitch.tv and would like a little bit more of an interactive experience, uh, definitely check out my channel. Give me a follow. That way you know the next time uh, I go live. Uh, however, I will also be creating content again exclusively for YouTube as well. We might just be playing different games uh, depending on what's going on. So I'm super super excited to actually sit down and play quite a bit of this. Uh, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town was one of my favorite, favorite games growing up. So when they remade uh, Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, you know, I, I threw a freaking party. Uh, super excited. I did play it a little bit when it first came out, but I didn't like sit down and play it as thoroughly as I wanted to. So I'm like super pumped to be doing this series for you guys on YouTube um, and hopefully we can kind of you know enjoy it together so let's go ahead and uh, get started okay so we're gonna play as a little girl let's see we'll go with like the whitest skin skin tone ever because I am super 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 pale let's see yeah okay Let's change our name. Okay, so, oh, darn it. I am so good at pressing the wrong buttons. Story of my life. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in our name. Uh, let's go ahead and choose our birthday. My birthday is in the summer and it is actually on the 26th of June. So let's go ahead and do that. And then our difficulty. So this is kind of cool. Um, in this game, you can actually choose the difficulty you want to play on. You could either do simple or normal. Uh, simple kind of starts you off with more gold and they start you with turnips and all that fun stuff. I want to play on normal, I think. Oh goodness, which one is selected? I can't tell. I can't tell which one's selected. Is it the blue one? Normal, okay. <laughs> That was super not clear. Okay, well, I guess the confirmed selection turns blue. Sure, we're gonna be playing on normal. I don't wanna play on easy. Nah, none of that. So let's go ahead and start our character with normal difficulty. One day, a special letter arrived in my mailbox. It was sent from a person who introduced himself as the mayor of a certain little town. The moment I finished reading that letter, I packed up my things and headed for the train station. Once there, I bought a ticket. A ticket to Mineral Town, the place where my grandfather had his farm. Good day! You are Lori, I presume. I'm Thomas. It is my great honor to preside over Mineral Town as its mayor. Here it is. This is the land your grandfather left to you. I'm afraid it's been some time since anyone tended to it, so it's fallen into a bit of disrepair. Do you remember when you came here as a child? You spent a summer together with your grandfather. I'm sorry, Lori. We had to cancel our family vacation this summer. I just couldn't get the time off for it. There's something very important that I have to do at work, and I can't leave. I'm really sorry, but you'll have to make do without a trip this year. Things are just too busy. I promise I'll make it up to you. I am so sorry, but please understand. We may not get a family vacation, but we have asked your grandfather to let you stay with him at his farm this summer. His farm is wonderful. It's surrounded by nature with all sorts of places to explore. You can relax and play as much as you like. We've already packed your things. All that's left to go, uh, oh, wow. All that's left is to go and have fun. Oh ho, there you are. Do you remember me? I'm your grandpa. There ain't too much to do out here in the sticks, but go have a nosy around if you'd like. I'm afraid I'll be busy most of the day doing my chores around the farm, so I won't have much time to play with you. 
There are a few kids around your age in town, though. I'm sure they'll let you play with them, so go on and introduce yourself. Who are you? Oh yeah, someone said that old guy at the farm down the road was having a visitor from the city. That must be her. I wonder what she's doing all by herself. Do you always play alone? Wow, me too. I like this place lots, so I come here all the time. Hey, why don't you tell me about yourself and the city and stuff? What's it like there? Well, how do you like the country life? Was it fun? When you get back home, say hello to your mom and dad for me, and let them know I enjoyed having you come visit. Aw, are you going already? Oh, I'll miss you. You'll be coming back someday though, right? Promise me you'll come back. It's been 20 years since then. Uh, I see you've grown into a fine young adult. Your grandfather loved this little farm dearly, you know. I'm sure it would make him oh so happy to know that you inherited it. Well, what do you say? Would you like to give farming a try? Oh, I suppose. Excellent, excellent. Allow me to be the first to welcome you as a new resident of Mineral Town. Now then, as you are the new owner of this farm, do you not think a new name is in order? Oh, okay. Uh, the farm's name. Okay, well, we're gonna name it the Bakery Farm. Because I think a bakery theme is super, super adorable. So that's what we're going with. Bakery farm, huh? It does have a nice ring to it. Running a farm is not the easiest of jobs in the world, but if you try hard, I'm sure you will do your grandfather proud. Well, I'm sure you must be tired from your long trip here. Why don't you rest for the remainder of the day? I must return to my duties as mayor. I bid you a good evening. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. Tomorrow, my new life as a farmer begins. Okay, it has begun. Let's take a look at our calendar here. So yesterday was some kind of event. That's cool. Nothing special today. All right, let's check out the TV. It's raining on the first day of the game. Okay, so tomorrow it's gonna be bright and sunny. Let's check out the educational channel. Uh, this kind of teaches us how to move around. We don't need to read that. Fisher be fished. Um, we don't really need to really look at that one either. What about the news? All right, so the month's events are the Spring Derby on the 18th and, wait, I wasn't done reading that. And the cooking exhibition on the 22nd. Okay, so that's good to know. All right, so let's get our tools out of here. Um, well, I guess I need a hoe, probably an axe, and I guess we can leave the watering can since it's literally raining on the first day. Am I right in assuming this is the first time you've ever worked on a farm? Please allow me to offer some advice. To talk to a person standing in front of you or to lift objects next to you, press the confirm button. Next, to use an item, make certain to equip it first, then press the tool button. And when you need to do a bit of shopping, go to a store, stand across the counter from the shopkeeper, and talk to them. However, if the store is closed, you can still speak to the shopkeeper, but you won't be able to buy anything. There are several other controls available to you as well. Would you like me to explain them? I don't think so. I think I understand the basic controls. Um, and if I need anything further, I'll just like look it up. If you ever have any questions or feel confused about anything, you can look it up by examining the bookshelf in your home. This is your farm, after all. You may do with it as you wish. Though, may I recommend focusing on earning a little money first to make life a touch easier. There are many things in the forest that you can forage and ship for a little pocket change, for example. And once your daily chores are finished, I suggest, I suggest taking a stroll about town and meeting the local residents. If you follow the road from your farm to the right, you will find your neighbors. I'm sure they'd be happy to chat or give advice. Oh yes, one last thing. When you return home, check your toolbox. Inside you'll find a little gift. It's just my old pedometer, but I think you'll get some use out of it. Mineral Town is a large place after all. It might be interesting to see how many, step you've, how many steps you've walked. Now then, that ought to do for today. 
I'll drop by to see how you're doing again soon. Good luck. Thank you, Mayor Thomas. For some reason, I was going to call you Mayor Lewis, and that is the wrong game. Yo, I'm Zach. I handle all the shipping around these parts. Nice to meet ya. When you're farming, there's one big thing you gotta remember. Here, I'll show ya. See, this, this is your shipping bin. Don't forget about it. You want to sell something? You put it in the bin. I come by at 5 p.m. every day and pick up whatever's in there. When I do, I'll automatically add your cut of the sale to your wallet. Nifty, right? Oh, but don't come... Uh, wait. I don't come to collect on holidays or festival days. You want to know why? Because I want days off too, darn it. I feel that, dude. Anyway, this ain't your only shipping bin. There's one inside the coop and one inside the barn too. You can sell crops you've harvested or stuff you foraged from the mountain. Oh, stuff's like eggs, milk, wool. They can go in there too. You get the idea, right? Okay, now listen up. This is important. Working hard is great and all, but don't overdo it. If your face starts to get blue, that's a sign you're about to keel over. When you get that bad, don't push it. Just go and rest, all right? Nobody wants a vacation to the clinic. Got all that? Good. I'll be stopping by at 5 p.m. then. See you. Okay. Well... I'm so glad we get to enjoy our first day on the farm in the pouring rain. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's just go ahead and head like straight into the forest and see what we can forage. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and kind of, you know, collect some materials while we're out here as well. Um, I kind of remember certain areas and where like certain items spawn, so... Just gonna kind of check those areas. Oh, hello. Oh, and who are you? Ah, moved into that old farmhouse, did ya? The name's Gots. I'm the carpenter around these parts. If you want to spruce up that old farmhouse, you come see me. I'll build you whatever you want, as long as you pay for it. Of course. Nothing's free, right? Okay. So there should be some like flowers and stuff spawning up this way. Or or a bamboo shoot, I'll take that. A couple bamboo shoots. Heck yeah. Let's go inside this tent. Nobody's in here. Sometimes there's a uh a girl in there. I cannot remember her name. But I know. Oh wait, wait, can I pick that up? I can. Cool. But I know uh she goes in there sometimes too. So some of these flowers look like they can be picked up, but you can't actually pick them up. It's kind of irritating. Bye, Mr. Monkey! So we can pick these up. I uh, can't pick those up. Those are just like static little images. I don't think you can pick that up either. No. Wait, can I pick this one up? Oh, come on. That looks like I can pick it up. That's alright. That's alright. Let's go down here. And, ooh, blue grass. Heck yeah. All right, let's go ahead and throw a flower into the spring right here. Uh, so the harvest goddess is going to come out and she's going to thank us. Oh, why, hello. Hmm, do I know your name? Oh, oh, how do I know your name? I totally didn't read that right. But because I'm me, you know, divine being and all that. Anyway, thank you so much for the lovely offering. Oh my, I'm rather fond of this. How wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. So that is something we're going to be doing every day for a while uh, because I believe once you give her so many offerings, I want to say she gives us a power berry, which increases our stamina, and we really want to have that. Um, so we're going to kind of try to give her something every single day. I could be wrong, but I feel like <laughs> if my memory is correct, that is what happens. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, here's a flower. See, I almost passed that one up. It didn't look like you could pick it up. There's nothing over here I can pick up either. Okay. Uh, and we have a little bit of money, so we might be able to buy some turnip seeds, maybe? Like, right away? Are they open today? This is the general store. Tuesdays and Sundays. Okay. So we can go in here and buy some things. Oh, goodness, they're expensive. Okay. So turnips... Easy to grow. Uh, potatoes, cucumbers. Yields multiple crops. Let's just do... Oh, bag upgrade. 3,000 gold. Okay, let's just go ahead and do some turnips. Let's do... 
Um, let's do three. Let's do it. That's fine. Thank you, sir. And let's go ahead and talk to some of these people. Hello. Oh, hello there. And you are? Ah, yes, yes. Mayor Thomas told us you would be coming. I'm Sasha. My family runs the general store. I do hope you'll drive by every once in a while. Oh, hello. A friend was just telling me about how somebody moved into that old farmhouse. So that's you, huh? You're Lori? Got it. I'm Karen. Pleasure's all mine. Hi, Karen. Oh, are you the one taking over the farm? I totally hit the button too soon, but that's okay because this is Marie and she says it's nice to meet us. Hi, Marie. Hello there. Goodness, we haven't met before, have we? Ah, so you're the one who just moved into the farm. Speaking of which, I seem to recall Thomas mentioning something along those lines. My name is Anna. I hope you'll come to enjoy life in our cozy little town. Maybe. Oh, who are you? Mana. My, 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 I haven't seen you around before. Could you be? Lori. Bingo, I just knew it. I heard from Thomas that someone new is moving to town, and he may or may not have let your name slip, too. Hm, me? Oh, where are my manners? My name is Mana. My husband, Duke, and I run the vineyard. Uh, it's ever so nice to meet you. We may be out in the boonies, but the folks here are so kind. So let us know if you're ever in a bind. Oh, I'm a poet. Oh, whoops. Am I talking too much? I am so sorry, bad habit. Oh my goodness. I forgot how much she talks. Okay. Uh, this is the clinic. I guess we could go in and like... Well, I wasn't expecting a cutscene, but I'll take it. Oh, pardon me. I didn't realize I still had a patient to see. You're not from this town, are you? No, doctor. Ah, I see. So you're a lorry, the new caretaker of that farm. There have been rumors floating around about you. My name is Doctor. Hello, Doctor. And as you can see, I am a physician. If you ever feel unwell, do seek me out right away. Most people in this town are healthy. We live in a place where the abundant blessings of nature appear to have rendered most diseases impotent. But I still study each and every day. Medicine is an endless pursuit. Many problems remain unsolved even now. What about you? Working on the farm is surely a difficult endeavor in its own right. Farm work is one of the most physically demanding jobs out there. Do take care. Also, for medical matters you'd rather not discuss with me, you may speak to my nurse, Allie. In any case, we are always here to lend an ear about any health concerns you may have. Oh, that's right. I just received some medicine from another town. Would you like to try some? Unlike the medicine typically sold here, it can restore both stamina and fatigue at the same time. Its only fault is that the effect is somewhat weak, which is why it hasn't been put out on the market yet. I improved it to increase its effectiveness, albeit at the expense of flavor. Uh, a little medicine never hurt anyone, I guess. Oh, he liked that. <laughs> Oh ho, it would seem I sized you up correctly. Go on then, down it in one gulp. Don't make me pass out. Oh no, ew. <laughs> so it tastes as awful as I expected, but it was rather effective, yes? I mean, I guess so. I had hypothesized that you'd be able to see the value in this medicine. Would you like some more? Um... Haha, uh, ha, forgive me, I couldn't resist a little joke. Taking too much of any medicine can have negative effects. Thank you for today. You've given me a lot to consider. Okay, thanks, doctor. Okay, bye. We'll talk to Ellie some other time. I was not expecting to trigger a cutscene this early on in the game, so that's actually really cool. Um, oh, hi. Hey. Huh, you just moved to that farm. Hmm, my name? Yeah, I'm Cliff. Nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Uh, I want to go up here. This is where the uh, harvest sprites actually hang out. And we can start befriending. Oh, oh, it gives us information about them. Okay. The nature sprites. Make friends with the nature sprites and they will help you with your chores and even play with you. To make friends with them, give them presents. You can make friends with each individual nature sprite. Once you're good friends with the nature sprites, they will help you with three different chores. Uh, watering crops. Harvesting. And livestock care. The more the nature sprites help you with certain chores, the better and faster they will get at them. You can also choose to play with the nature sprites to give them practice with specific chores. So it's super, super easy to uh, befriend Aqua. 
Um, yeah, you've never seen me before. It's nice to meet you. Uh, because we can get blue herbs and stuff super, super easy. And he likes the blue herbs uh, a lot. So we're going to be giving him blue herbs. And if I don't have blue herbs, I believe he'll take a flower. I think he'll take flowers. Something like that. Uh, so we'll kind of give him flowers and stuff too. So let's go ahead and head back to our farm. And uh, let's see if we can get some of these turnip seeds planted before the end of the day. Okay, so... Oh, I gotta... Okay, we gotta clear out some spot here for them. So if my memory serves me correct, I believe a whole package of seeds will actually give us like uh, nine, nine seeds, I think. We don't really have a whole lot of time here. It's okay. Let's just go ahead and I actually tilted the camera back like that. I didn't want to do that. How do I? There we go. Okay. So we need nine little squares for one package of seeds and I bought three. So let's do that. I don't have enough space cleared out. It's getting late, but we don't have to water them, so that's cool. I did not want to jump over that. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this all tilled out. That's a cute little mole. Oh no, it's late. Okay. It's all right. We can do this. We can do this. I'm going to wake up the next day and my character's going to be super sick. Oh, come on. We're almost done. We're almost done. It's okay. It's all good. Hi, little mole. Okay, let's go get the seeds real quick out of the toolbox. Okay, let's replace it with that. Okay. All right, yes, here we go. So boom, boom, and one more. Perfect. And we can go ahead and, oh, shipping items. Okay, so put livestock byproducts and harvested crops into the shipping bin to ship them and earn money. At five o'clock, Zach will come to collect any items in the shipping bin and offer your payment. He comes most days except for festival days. In addition to the one in your field, you will find shipping bins in your barn and in the coop. To put an item in the shipping bin, first hold it in your hands and examine the shipping bin. And we can actually do the same thing uh, from our bag and it's quicker. Uh, but be careful though, because once it goes into the shipping bin, you can't take it back out again. Like that. Okay, so let's ship all of this stuff. We're going to keep the stone and the wood. Uh, but we will ship everything else that we picked up. And we can actually store the stone and the wood in the cabinet over here. So... That is super, super handy. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this and if you want to see more, definitely leave a like and a comment down in the section below. I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have my little person go to sleep. And um, yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon with another episode of Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Bye, guys.